You might think of Adobe Story, which is what I have on screen here, as being exclusively for script writing, scheduling and reporting and various other pre-production tasks. But it actually has a very valuable service it can provide for Premiere Pro CS6. Premiere Pro can analyze the audio in your clips and convert it into text, and then you can edit based on that text. And Story can provide that text. Now, you can just give Premiere Pro a text document, but if you give Premiere Pro an ASTX file, this is the file exchange format you can get from Adobe Story, then you can get useful things like character names as well. The process is very, very simple. I've got a script here which is actually a transcription of a little bit of dialogue by me as I'm describing some shots from some virals that I produced in advance of my feature film, Orpheus Rising. So here is the transcription. And just note that this is a transcription. This is not an original fiction script. And of course, if you're working with fiction, it's very, very common for the dialogue to change, not just during rehearsal, but even on set. And it's not always possible for your script supervisor to catch those little changes, some of which might well end up in the edit anyway. So here I am with my transcription. I'm going to go to the file menu and I'm going to choose not save to disk, which will create an ST doc file. I've put that in with the other assets for you anyway, so you can open this up and try this for yourself. But also export as, and I'm gonna choose Adobe Story Interchange Format, ASTX. I'm gonna save this, so here you can see we've got a folder. Let me go up one, there's our scripts folder. And inside there, I'm gonna save this as director's commentary dot ASTX. Notice the original is ST doc. And I'll save that. Nothing much is gonna happen. I'm gonna to toggle over to Premiere Pro. And here I've got this project, improving speech to text. And this just has the screen capture images on it. This is an MP4 file I've converted. And you can hear me speaking some of the ways we worked on the viral media that we shot in preparation. And there it is. So what we want is to go to our metadata panel. And if you don't have this on screen, you can just go to the window menu and choose metadata. And in this panel, you can see, if I select the clip in the bin, you can see right at the bottom under analysis text, you see there's nothing there at all. Now, if I want to, I can click analyze at the bottom of the metadata panel, and I can just set this off conducting its analysis, and it'll do okay. But I want to show you another way. Now, you can do this in the bin by right-clicking on the clip and choosing Analyze Content, or you can do it here in the metadata panel. If I click on Reference Script and I choose Add, and then browse to that ASTX file. Here we go. Notice that there is an ST doc file in this folder, but it's not being displayed because the ST doc files have additional formatting information that we just don't want or need for this process. The ASTX is the one, but remember the ASTX files don't have that formatting information, so be sure to store both if you're looking to make a local backup of your script. I'm going to select this and click open, and here you can see the dialogue taken from the script. You see at the top, I can choose that this is English, perhaps a little bit optimistic, saying that it'll be the same accent from uh, so many different parts of the UK, but it seems to work out most of the time. And up at the top here, this is the tick box I want to draw your attention to. Script text matches recorded dialogue. What this means is, I'm going to tick this box, and the analysis engine, which is actually not Premiere Pro, it's actually the media encoder that does the analysis, it's going to presume that exactly these words and no other words are spoken. And this is important because it's going to give us an absolutely perfect speech-to-text analysis, provided that this is the actual text that's spoken. So you can see why this is particularly good for transcribed audio. Although there's no automatic way of generating subtitles from this content, you can use the cue points that will be generated automatically if you send this media over to After Effects. And those cue points can be turned into subtitles effectively using expressions. So I'll just click OK here. I'm going to have this on high quality. I'm going to make sure identify speakers is ticked so I get the name of the speaker. And I'm going to click OK. Up comes the meter encoder. The meter encoder begins its analysis. Now, if I resize this a little so you can see what's going on, we get a little progress bar at the bottom. Doesn't take too long. 
of course it's not outputting any video so the preview panel here is blank that's now completed and if i toggle back to premiere pro i'm just pressing alt tab here that would be command tab on mac os and here it is there is the text exactly what i said when recording this video and you can now click on the word and notice the playhead in premiere pro is jumping to the word so now i can say let's go from timeline conversion of this shot on the timeline you can see exactly and i can actually cut the pictures based on the words that are being spoken. This is the speech to text analysis feature in Premiere Pro, but if you like perfected by using the data provided by Adobe Story. A massive time saver for the editor if you can go through that preparation time before you begin.